Yeah, so we're going to get a little deeper dive into this uh, killer system. And you're with House of Stereo. Yeah, so I'm, I'm Joe Parvey. I'm the owner of House of Stereo. And uh, what we have here, uh, these are the new Avant-Garde Duo GTs. So after a dozen or so years, Avant-Garde has come out with the third generation of their tweeter at mid-range drivers. Okay. And so these are the, this is the first active pair of Avant-Gardes in America. Really? Um, Yes, so what we have is their ITRON, I-T-R-O-N. The ITRON technology uh, is an amplifier, a uh, home-built amplifier for the tweeter in the mid-range. Of course, these have the same 1,000-watt uh, subwoofer amp uh, for the uh, two 10-inch woofers down below. Okay. But this is third gen. This is the new avant-garde. Um, what's really awesome about these is that you can purchase them both active and passive simply switch okay so what we've done uh, we ran itron all day yesterday uh, but these are my phasemation uh, mono blocks these are 25 watt per channel uh, push pull 300 v tube amps wow um, plus the the three-piece preamp by phasemation as well so the input boxes and then the control unit uh, connected by umbilicals so this this preamp is a three box unit oh, wow. uh, with these so we've we've put the passive switch on and we're we're driving the avant garde in the traditional way. Gotcha. But I you know I love the fact that this the the active nature of the new avant garde mean you can have a blank wall with yeah. just two pairs of you know fit into any decor on. a lot easier anything, than having to find a rack for all of this. Yeah. But if you like you know tailoring your sound and want to have some more eye candy you got exactly. the ability that's great. Yeah. So. Uh, so then, uh, doing the driving duties, of course, BPI's Titan. Yeah, it's uh, impressive. <clears throat> one, of, uh, one of my favorite turntables, and this is the Analog Relax, the EX1000 cartridge. Uh, so, uh, Fremer reviewed that last November, two Novembers ago. Okay. One of, it's my favorite cartridge ever. Interesting. Uh, notwithstanding the DS Audio optical cartridges. That so are really good. Yeah. cartridges, this is my favorite. And then, of course, DS, DS Audio. Audio. Gotcha. Um, so that's the analog side. Uh, Phasemation, and you know, Phasemation's a Japanese company. Not a lot of people have heard of them. Uh, if you've heard of them, then more than likely you've heard of their cartridges and their phono stages. Um, we're now bringing their amps and preamps into the United States. Okay. And uh, it, it's really amazing stuff. Uh, so something you know, very well worth knowing about. Um, now on the digital side, so we've, we've covered all of the analog. On the digital side, this is the Red Wolf 2SX by Wolf Audio Systems. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's my company, so we make audio servers. And through a circuitous route, I ended up purchasing our home stereo shop, which is House of Stereo. Okay. Um, so what we're doing here, so we've got the audio server, the server and the linear power supply. Then the T plus A SD3100 reference DAC. This is my favorite DAC. Uh, spend a, you know, it's it's a thirty six thousand dollar reference DAC, and you could spend a hundred thousand and not get the quality that you get out of this DAC. Gotcha. Just okay. My absolute favorite. This is my personal one. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Now, what are we talking? I know people are going to be wanting price points, especially on the new avant garde. Let's say. Um, Let's say sixty-one thousand for the passive model, okay, and seventy-seven for the active, active with okay. Itron. Yep. Yeah, and this will fit and fill almost any room. Oh yeah, you two see. ten. A lot of people don't realize the woofers are kind of hidden. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. There's two ten-inch drivers in here. Yeah. Uh, with a thousand watts of amplification, and this is the largest of the duos. So there's, uh, I have a, a sheet over here. So the Duo GT. Uh, the Duo SD, so what's different is the uh, the base driver. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, the Uno, if you, you know, are space challenge. Right. I would have loved Small to have put the, the trios yeah. in here, but they would yeah, never Yeah, they would never work. fit, but yeah. yeah. Well, this is very impressive, yeah, and you picked the right one for the room. Even the, the Unos could have fit in here just mm -hmm. fine, but it's great to see a fully active horn design yeah. So once you make that purchase, although it's pricey, but you've got everything taken care of yes, at a exactly. reference level. Yep. Yeah. So great job. I'm glad I got to find out about your dealership. And uh, you're in Jacksonville, right? Yeah, Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, so guys, check it out if you're in the area.